It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And this is revealing that we're nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this Signs of the Last Days ministry is here with you, watching and praying together with you as we declare the biblical signs of the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ so people can get ready now. Thank you for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days church community who are praying and giving to support this ministry. There's news today from the Middle East where today Israel was attacked by the Arabs in the streets of Israel and was also at the same time attacked by the Persians in the sky over the Holy Land. But again today, it was only the Arabs who were able to hurt Israel, where the Arab terrorists killed and wounded many Israelis, while the Persians of Iran shooting missiles down into the skies of Israel, they were able to hurt no one. And it is prophesied that in the last days of this age that the Arabs will rise up against Israel and that the Persians of Iran will rise up against Israel. But it is the Arabs, supported by Persia, that will do Israel much harm in the last days. Today, Persia, Iran, in retaliation against Israel, fired close to 200 ballistic missiles at Israel, where we again watched the night scene over Israel, where the missiles were shot down by Israeli and U.S. defense systems like a type of violent fireworks in the night sky over Israel. And the IDF of Israel has now reported that this latest Iranian missile attack is over. And they also reported that no one was hurt from the missile attack of Iran and said that it was now safe for Israelis to leave their shelters. And this Iranian attack is what the nations and the world news media have been focusing on today while overlooking something else that is actually the immediate threat and the grave threat for Israel that will bring her great harm. Because at the same time as the world was looking toward the skies, watching for Iranian ballistic missiles to be shot down over Israel. The real and immediate dangerous and deadly threat to Israel also attacked her at the same time. As Arabs today, at the same time had terrorist soldiers in the heartland, heartland of Israel were in central Israel in Jaffa. Seven Israelis were killed and 17 more were wounded, including children by these Arabs when Arab terrorists attacked and began shooting Israelis at a rail station in Jaffa, Israel, where Israeli security forces, as you saw there on the video, they then rushed to the scene and they described hearing the shooting and the shouting of Allahu Akbar. And the eyewitnesses there described the terror and chaos where when they were on the rail, they were suddenly, they suddenly heard what they at first thought was fireworks outside, but then realized it was something much worse and sinister. They realized they were hearing gunfire from the outside of the rail, where they said there were many gunshots as they all dropped to the floor, and they saw that some were crying as they were bleeding from their wounds, as there were two Arab terrorists Muhammad Shalaf and Muhammad Hassan, both from Hebron, which is in the West Bank of Judea and Samaria. And they had boarded the rail and opened fire and then exited the train and continued shooting Israeli citizens on the street. And then an Israeli rail security guard and also security patrol police officers and citizens with personal weapons they returned their fire at the two Arabs and killed the terrorists, but not before the Arabs terrorists had killed seven Israelis and wounded 17 more. So let's get the picture where today, with the world watching the Persians of Iran's ballistic missiles, in which Iran was not able to kill or wound any Israelis, 
But the Arabs, meanwhile, at the same time, were killing and wounding many Israelis. And this is indicative of what is the prophetic, clear, and present danger for Israel that is first and immediate, presently and prophetically. It is not the Persian Iranians that are coming now for Israel at its border, but it is the Arabs that are surrounding Israel's borders. And they're already inside Israel's borders that are coming and are already there. It is the Arabs presently resisting and fighting Israel who are the first and immediate prophetic threat to attack Israel. And it is the Arabs, not the Persians, who are prophesied to wreak great harm on Israel. Asaph, the chief Levite of song, who stood before the presence of the Lord, at the ark of the Lord, making music and song to the Lord in the time of King David. The Spirit of the Lord came out and came upon him. And Asaph prophesied his Psalm 83, where he described something that will happen that has never yet happened before. That all the Arab tribes who hate and resist Israel, he prophesied they will lift up their heads and say, Come now. Let us gather together against Israel, where they will all agree together with one consent to all attack Israel together with the goal to cut Israel off from being a nation so that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. The prophecies of Psalm 83 and also Isaiah 17 in the Holy Bible describe all the Arabs attacking Israel in a war that is something that's never happened before. Psalm 83 gives details where it describes by name, by name all the Arab tribes who will attack Israel together, which has never happened before. And the prophecy tells what is their purpose and what the Lord and, the, and Israel then does to them. Isaiah 17 gives details concerning these battles. And what happens out of them between Israel and the Arabs with a prophecy describing locations and direction from which the Arabs will gather and attack Israel. With a prophecy calling out Syria with Damascus being one such area where uh, which Syria shares the golden border with Israel with Damascus not far away being only about 40 miles away with this where this could be an Arab staging area and direction of attack on Israel in this final great Arab-Israeli war. And the prophecy also calls out another location, being the cities of Aroer, which that location is in western Jordan along the border of Israel, not far from Ammon, also being only about 40 miles away and also not far away from the King Hussein Bridge crossing from western Jordan into the west bank of Israel, which this could be another Arab staging area and direction of attack on Israel. And the prophecy also calls out Ephraim as another location, which Ephraim to this day is a stronghold like a fortress of the Arabs inside of Israel. For this is in the area called the West Bank, a hotbed for a growing Arab terrorist army today inside of Israel, and is the area from which these two Arab terrorists were from, who just attacked central Israel today in Jaffa, as Ephraim, which is today in the West Bank, has become an Arab fortress inside of the borders of Israel. And from these Arab locations that I have just described, which come right out of the Isaiah 17 prophecy, these Arab locations of the Golan up to Damascus in Syria, and from the Dead Sea up to Amman in Jordan, and inside Israel in the West Bank of Judea and Samaria, the Arabs, as the map showed, can all gather and link up in a joint attack upon and inside of Israel that can be devastating as they will all coordinate and attack at once. 
And the Bible prophecies describe this coming prophetic battle as so intense that it presses Israel so badly to where the prophecy says that in that day of that battle that the glory of Jacob shall wane, where Israel's light will grow dim from this pressing attack of the Arabs upon Israel. But then both the Isaiah 17 and Psalm 83 prophecies both say the same, basically essentially say the same thing, that then the Lord will help Israel make a comeback like a tempest of whirlwind that will come rolling back against the Arabs, making them like chaff blown off the mountains before the wind of the whirlwind, where the Arabs will be so defeated that the prophecy says that something else happens that has never happened before, to where the prophecy in Isaiah 17 says that Damascus and Syria becomes a ruinous heap and ceases from being a city. It also describes that that area of western Jordan will be forsaken, to where there will be no people whatsoever there to bother the flocks that lay down to where they are not afraid. And those areas of Ephraim in the West Bank will also cease to exist. This is what the prophecy describes. And that will happen by the tempest of whirlwind that will come upon the Arabs as they will attack Israel from those locations and then the Lord God will help Israel to devastate and make desolate those areas from which the Arabs have attacked. Obvious, obviously, this final war coming, this building up now between Israel and the Arabs is going to be very comprehensive and destructive. To where the prophecy says it will be a harvest of ruin for those who wanted to plunder Israel and rob them. And the Arab hatred and resistance to Israel will be like the chaff forever burned up as the prophecy says that the Arabs will be confounded, put to shame, and dismayed forever from their utter defeat. And then Israel will live in peace with the Arabs. As Israel will come to live in unwalled villages dwelling safely without walls and neither bars nor gates. And then afterwards, then that is when the army of Persia, Iran will come to the border of Israel as foretold in Ezekiel 38. But right now, there are up to 2 million armed Arab fighters that are around the very borders of Israel and also inside the borders of Israel. Just like these Arab terrorists today from Hebron who just attacked in central Israel killing Israelis and wounding Israelis. And all these hundreds of thousands of Arabs that now surround Israel and are inside of Israel in Ephraim, they also likewise want to attack and kill off Israel. And they will be gathering now, and they will come, just as the Holy Bible prophecy describes, in a mighty final Arab-Israeli battle that is the present, clear and present danger now for Israel. And that battle, that Arab-Israeli battle prophesied in Psalm 83 and Isaiah 17, it will change the Middle East forever and lead it into the end time. And these events and conditions that are happening now in and around Israel are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age. And it's revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God, just as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3, verses 3 through 5, and as his apostles authorized and sanctioned by Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19, they described how in the Acts of, their, uh, of the Apostles' preaching, in the Acts of the Apostles in chapters 2, 8, 10, and 19. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you are located, 
to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles actually in their Holy Bible scriptures. Please contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org.org. And in the footer, in the smaller print down at the very bottom of the page, you'll find inside of that our email address. Just email us with the name of your town and of your state and also give us your zip code with your request and we'll be glad to respond and help you just like we have helped scores and scores of others all across the United States and in other countries. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here. The need is greater than ever before for a prophetic ministry like this Signs of the Last Days ministry that is declaring the path of the prophetic signs from now to the glorious appearance of the Lord Jesus. Please support this ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. And we are praying for you every day. And we are praying and declaring as we all together get ready, watching and praying for the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you for being a part of this prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ Jesus the Lord as this Signs of the Last Days ministry shares the signs of biblical prophecy to the world. Be watching for our next videos. Also, be a part of and be in our next Watch and Pray live stream, such as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings, where we share a prophetic word from the Lord then with this last day's church describing more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and click that bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. We're going to be sharing powerful signs of the last day's prophecies happening now that shows that the time of this age is nearing its end. Signs of the times Upon the eastern sky.